Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of this tutorial series. So first thing, let's just create a new document. I'm going to use a 1700, 2400 and or vertical orientation and RGB mode. Press create. Cool. Let's just get my tools back where they are. Great. So the first thing we want to do is actually create that actually going to just clean up my workspace. So the first thing <laughs> we want to do is actually just create that like, uh, like arcs around it. So let's just go to our toolbar here and get the rectangle tool. Let's just draw a really nice arc. Like at least a rectangle first, actually. Not arc yet. And then I'm going to make it just with a stroke. And then I'm going to make it three points for now. I'm going to use the direct action tool here and I'm going to delete this part here. Great. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select this object here and then I go to the edit, copy and edit, paste in place. And then I'm actually going to scale it down more or less like here. And then I'm going to scale this up, push this up a little bit there. Something like this. Perfect. Let's just align these lines here. I'm actually going to make it even a little bit smaller just for the so so just for the uh, like a really nice arc here maybe something more like this perfect pull it a bit up align these lines I'm using the direct selection tool here and perfect now let's select these two lines and just press A to uh, like get this uh, access to these round corners here sorry I'm just like trying to I'm doing while well explaining sometimes I get really lost. And let's just use the corners rounders here. Let's select these two lines and let's go to object, blend and make and make just one step. Perfect. If you if you in your case actually there is more steps, you can go to object blend and then go to blend options and then you just choose step specified steps one. It's easy. Cool. Let's just now I go to select these shapes here. Let's go to object and expand. Let's expand everything and just increase the thickness of our strokes really quick until they create these really nice uh, arcs here. Then let's just go to expand it. So actually it's not a stroke anymore. We can actually can leave it as a stroke. Let's just leave it as a stroke for now. We then change if we need to. Let's just drag this to the corner, scale this a little bit up see how it works perfect and next thing let's go to get some colors so let's go to window swatches libraries art history and then find impressionism so this is like the type of colors i see more in the boho heart is like most of like a more almost like a Cezanne palette which is really cool let's just select this and align it to the center and let's make a new layer and make a really nice background for it. Use a rectangle tool here to create a really cool background and just change it to fill. Let's put like a, a light color for now and lock it. Let's just select uh, the strokes here. Let's ungroup them. Right click and ungroup. Let's select one and change it to maybe orange. The second one maybe to a yellow. The third one maybe to something lighter than yellow, maybe a blue, maybe something like this. Perfect. And we have our arcers done. Arcers, is this the way we say it? I think so. And let's next, next, sorry, let's go to ellipse tool and um, make like a really nice ellipse, perfect ellipse here. Align it to the center as well and just make it fill. And let's make the fill a little bit like a reddish. So there is this thing normally, I, I know you are doing an illustrator, so it's really hard to actually fake it. It's like handmade because most of this style is actually, it's, you have this handmade feeling. And I was trying to actually incorporate this like in regular edges on this style in illustrator. The way I done it is just like go to effects and then go to distort and transform. And then if you go to roughen, you can just like actually decrease this for one and this for one and then make it smooth and it creates this really cool like not so perfect uh, ellipse which creates like a really nice 
um, variation. Cool. So this is like three, two of the three elements. The next element is actually that, uh, let's just go back here. Is this like a flower leaf? Uh, yeah, like a plant something there. I don't know the name right now. Actually, let's just sync the colors. As I saw, the colors are a little bit different. I think I like these colors as well. Great. So to make that uh, other organic detail here, we're going to go to our line segment tool here and make it like a really nice line like this. Let's make it black and then make it 30. And we are going to change the stroke. You, uh, from here, you, instead of uniform, we're going to use this one, which is like the spiky one. Let's just rotate this like this. Perfect. And now let's get the ellipse tool again. Make a really nice ellipse. And then just use it like this. Fill it with a nice color. And let's select these edges here with a direct selection tool. And just make it... Uh, what's the name when you make it this? Convert to, anchor, to corners. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I promise it will be, it will be, get better. <laughs> just and just make it, and then just scale this down a little bit like this. Just scale it down, like to make like a leaf kind of kind of vibe, and just align it to the to here. Perfect. You can actually scale it a little bit more and make a copy. I'm using Alt to make a, a copy like this, really really quick and then I'm going to scale this down like this we're going to select them both and then we're going to again to object blend and make so now we have like made this repetition of leaves again let's just go to object again and expand fill an object perfect and then let's go to edit copy and edit paste in place let's right click transform and reflect to reflect it vertically and just drag it to the side so we actually have this perfect uh, plant situation I don't remember the name in English for this I'm so sorry and let's just make it object expand appearance if someone knows the name of like the part of the plant that this is I think it's just part of the plant please just write in the comments I'm so lost right now and I just select this, uh, let's select all the elements here. Let's go to Window and then Pathfinder and then just collect, connect all of them with the Unite tool. Perfect. So we're going to use this. Actually, we're going to transform this into a brush or you can actually just use like a really nice simple composition like this. But to make it a little bit more interesting, we're going to create this graphic and then we're going to create a, like a custom brush and then we're just going to brush it very organically. For that, let's go to our window and let's get the brush um, window here. Perfect. And the way to do a brush in Illustrator is like you just create a really nice graphic and then just drag and drop it inside of the brush uh, window here. You're going to use an uh, art brush because this is like this cutter brush is like it doesn't distort the, the vector shape. It, it still it keeps the same vector shape static. So and the art brush actually adjusts the adjust the art brush the vector to the art brush. You're gonna see. Just press OK and scale proportionally, stretch to fit. I'm gonna leave it at stretch to fit stroke length. Press OK, and now we have a brush here. Now let's just get our brush tool and select our brush and just brush something like this. And this is it. Look. It looks amazing already. It's so simple. It's like how simple to create a brush in Illustrator. And um, it's just like so, so insane. So the next thing, we, when we are actually happy with our brush, you can adjust it if you want to be more perfectionist with the, with the paths and everything, which is cool. And you can just make it maybe a little bit smaller here. Just adjust it very nicely. And then we need to be careful with the distortions as well because the weight will distort a little bit. Maybe I'm going to remove one of those points here because we don't need it. And then I'm going to use a, a really nice curve. Nice. Maybe I don't need this, that point as well. 
so tidy up a little bit this vector and perfect so yeah as, as soon as you finish your artwork like your brush you can just click it and then go to object and expand so it's not a brush anymore it becomes like a graphic and then you can change colors easily and you know just just enjoy now just enjoy the, the coloring part of the project you don't need to use the same colors as i did and you don't even use to use the same art uh, color library that i used but i was trying to go to like something more impressive vibe for sure but yeah this is it i i hope you enjoyed uh this is like it's a very new um style that i'm exploring as well so i'm teaching while i'm learning it if that makes sense but well i really wanted to explore something new as well for myself so yeah i hope you enjoyed and please if you did don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and share with everyone else i'll be doing this uh, style for a while now i think for 22 episodes because that's normally what the season is so yeah please subscribe if you like this style and check the other videos as well I see you in the next one.